Welcome back to the uh, episode of Let's Play Fallout 4. This is Stormcrow, and let's get started. Alright, let's go ahead and save. You know what I didn't do? I didn't check my combat rifle on my other save. I'll try to remember to do that. We need to take some quick notes here. Okay. We're going to finish up this uh, tech quest, I guess we'll call it. This radiant quest for the scribe, Hayden. Then we're going to move on to what's going on over here. Then we're going to move on to uh, the minimum missions, and then we're going to move on to. Uh, lastly, uh, will be the Good Neighbor uh, missions. Or, I mean, we got so many missions to do. Oh, shoot. That actually scared me. Didn't mean to take the board. Eat some food. There's a short bite that will not take us all the way. Some grilled rad roach. That'll take us close enough. I want to get up there and loot that guy, if I can. We'll do a little quick save in case I step on a mine or something weird. I had to come up here anyways. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn these both in. Wait, what's the name of this place? Coast Guard Pier. Let me write that down. Coast Guard Pier. Okay. This might actually level us, or it'll get us close. And we'll probably not pick up more radiant missions for now. We can always come back and get them. But we got plenty of other missions to do. I was just thinking that, you know, might as well, it, it might be near where, we're, where we need to go, but that's, you know, not, not, not worth it. Well, it's worth it, but for me to do them, but it's not really worth it for the videos. Not video worthy. About time you showed your face. I take it that area's clear? Affirmative. Really? Maybe you're not as worthless as I thought. I hate you, Reese. Here's your payment. The Commonwealth won't be running out of vermin anytime soon. If you need time to regroup, take it. 
Once you're ready, let me know. I'm not ready. You know where to find me. Just don't take all day. Okay. What the hell? Okay, walls. <laughs> Scribe Halen. Recover that tech I sent you for. Here it is. Good work. Take this. The scribes are gonna love your find. There's still plenty of undiscovered tech out there. When you're ready for more, just say the word. Can't do it right now. That's all right. Take some time to recoup. When you're ready, closer level. I'll be here. Taking armor or two, if nothing else. I gotta kind of list it out. Okay. Minimum quest it is. Settlement recruit beacon lost. Who the frack is under attack? Okay, I have recruit beacons at home and three other places. I'll have to check them. Well, technically I have one here too. I have, Tim. Wait, where did I where did I just port to? Oh, Fort Snog. That's fine. Wish I I wish I knew where the hell I lost it. I don't want to just spend the whole episode just porting around all the different locations. This is just walking. I'm sorry, I'm thinking about which location I might have lost it at. Usually you have a quest when it's, a, a, you know, who's under attack. Yes, I think you do. We'll get Norgard and then I'll probably go take a look and see who, where we lost it. Or North Garden, whatever the place is called. Doing this in my eyes, mostly closed. Based on blinking really fast. Uh, okay. Do they have a workshop? I don't think they have. this place has a workshop. We could really use your help. I'm with the Minutemen. How can I help? Something nasty's living just around the corner from here. It's only a matter of time before there's some real trouble. Now, what's really too bad is it'd be a nice spot for a new settlement. Okay. In fact, I know some folks that'd love to set up there if it was safe. If you can make sure the old workshop there is still in one piece, anyone who decides to move in later will be able to rebuild. No problem. I'll take care of them for you. I hope so. We didn't know what to do. Got time to talk now? What's wrong? Wrong? Oh no, nothing's wrong. We've just been traveling a while now, and I figure there hasn't exactly been equitable distribution of information. We've gotten a decent glimpse into your dirty laundry, but you still don't really know a whole heck of a lot about me. I figure that offer to balance the board. So, is there anything you want to know? What do you remember about the Institute? It's all pretty hazy a back while. then, but now and then I get glimpses. Life inside the Institute, they keep you isolated. A single test chamber was my whole world for years. 
and someone was always watching. Then one day you wake up on the other side, and that's it. They've cut you loose. Welcome to the brave new world, with such people in it. What's with the outfit? After I started the agency, it just seemed like the sort of thing a detective ought to wear. I got some old memories, pre-war, faded to all heck of guys dressed like this, doing what I do. Putting on the hat and trench coat, I figured it'd let folks know I was serious about the whole thing. Clothes make the man and all that. Guess I felt they made me the man I wanted to be. So, so who are you, Nick? That's a question I've been trying to figure out myself for a long damn time. I know I'm a synth, authentic institute handiwork, but I'm still mechanical, not bioengineered like the fancy synths giving everyone the willies these days. I get tune-ups now instead of checkups. My memories, my personality, they're all lifted from some cop who volunteered for an experiment back before the war. They scanned his brain and copied it onto the hardware that runs between my ears. I don't know why they chose to make a robot based on some pre-war cop instead of a math genius or a bioengineer. Hey, maybe that's why the Institute tossed me in the garbage instead of turning me into one of their people snatchers. Wait, the original Nick was from my time? Sure was. Which meant when I finally ended up out here, it was quite the rude awakening. I remember waking up one day in a garbage heap, a body in tatters and a head full of memories belonging to a man who'd been dead for 200 years. Suffice to say, it was a confusing couple of weeks. Folks didn't really know much about synths back then, so when I finally ran into people, they mostly treated me with caution rather than hostility. But the kids, <laughs> they weren't afraid. I think his name was Jim first person to actually speak to me after I got the boot from the Institute. My first human contact in this world. Grilled me for an hour. <laughs> Once they'd seen I wasn't going to hurt anyone, the other folks in the neighborhood came out to ogle the mechanical man. It eventually turned into a pretty swell soiree. A local mechanic even gave me a once-over, free of charge. Those people, they, they treated me like a human being. I've been trying to return the favor ever since. It's a surprisingly rare trait out here sometimes. It's something I've noticed you got a fondness for. Part of the reason I've stuck around this long. Where's that town? We should go visit. I tried to go back and say thanks once I'd gotten myself established. But the place was wiped off the map. Raiders. Don't know what happened to the people. If you're good to people, they'll be good back. That's something I've always believed. Couldn't agree more. Well, I expect you're about as bored as can be listening to me rattle my skeletons. You should probably head out. Need to check something. All right, it looks like he's using the right microphone input. I'll need to listen to an episode after this one to make sure that things are working right. Oh yeah, quick save to the Nick stuff. All right, so where does it want us to go? Oh, good lord, how the hell are we? We can do this. We can, yeah, we, we can do this. We got time. I don't know. We're almost 15 minutes in. This might be a good time to stop. We'll see what type of soiree we get into when we pop down here at the sensor array. Wow, there's uh we really taking it to okay, let's take a look. Okay, I can go south. Not even sure. Okay, we got the level up. Can't even see what's shooting at me. 
Oh, who the hell is Nick shooting at? No, oh shit. Oh shit! Up into a wall. Wait out for you. I'm just following Nick on this one. I'd like to loot the bodies, but... There's any dead brotherhood around here. I can go out there and loot them. That's okay. It's quick. It's actually. Let's level up. Alright, I have listed that I want to take. Oh, let, me get, let me go back a page here. Armor 2. If there's nothing else to take. This is level 26. No. Armor 2 is, okay, 41, 33, 39, 38, 38. I'm not going for ninja yet. 28 on science, okay. It's good to know. We'll do local leader next level probably, just to max it out. Might do armor 3 next. So I can scratch out. Armor 2. And we'll do Armor 3 next level. Alright, this is as good as any place to stop. I want to thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play Fallout 4. This is Stormcrow, signing off.